So a little birdie told me, and by that I mean I saw a video on the internet that said that Five Below is selling manga now. And I figured, I've never done a manga hunting video, nor have I done a manga haul video, well, at least not in a while. So I thought it'd be fun to see if this were if this was true. Um, I don't know if it is. I don't know if it's a regional thing. I don't know how slim the pickings are going to be, if there are any. Um, I don't even know if this video is going to see the light of day. So, um, to bring an air of trust between us as friends, um, I'm going to metaphorically flip the coin and tell you guys a super special secret about mine. And if this um, video ever sees the light of day, then that's just out there in the ether. And if not, then it's safe. <laughs> um, so I, um, it took me longer than I am willing to admit. Um, I always thought that the term oxymoron meant you were just like a really stupid drug dealer. All right, let's go. Okay. So that was kind of a waste of time. Um, I still managed to pick up a few things. Um, so that's why this video is actually happening. But it, I don't know if it was just like my local Five Below, um, but they had like an area for anime, um, but they had two manga there. And not like two specific individual volumes that made it seem like, oh, this was picked through. It was like, I think 15 to 20 copies of DNA, DN Angel, is that how you pronounce it? DN Angel, volume 10, so not even volume one. And then, um, uh, Songs to Make You Smile. I feel like people are looking at me, but I don't really care. Songs to Make You Smile. Um, I don't know anything about Fruits Basket. This is like stories from the creator of Fruits Basket. So I don't know if this is related to Fruits Basket or if it's just stories by that same creator. But it looked interesting. The guy's got a guitar. I love, you know, cute uh, kind of coming of age slice of life stories. So maybe I'll review this. I don't really know. Um... <laughs> And then I'm on a big JJK kick, as you guys may have seen on the channel. I've been I reviewed the series and then I reviewed the movie, so I picked up two like figures, um, and we'll see what they are right now. We'll do I guess this turned into an unboxing rather than a manga haul. These are cute little figures. I like them, and they were only five bucks because it's you know it's five below, which may, I mean makes sense. Otherwise they would be filthy freaking liars. Uh, we got the, the homies here. We got Nobara. We got Megami. Um, so this was kind of a waste. Uh, sorry about that. Um, but I guess I'm just still going to do it because, you know, there is a little bit of something to go around. Um, and also, um, just letting you guys know that Five Below does in fact have manga if you're looking for specifically Songs to Make You Smile and Volume 10 of Dien Angel. I didn't want this video to be a complete wash, so I decided to go to a second Five Below and really didn't have much luck there. They had Volumes 1 and 2 of Attack on Titan, which was cool, I guess, um, but I don't really care about Attack on Titan. I mean, I, I do care because I'm watching the anime and it's, you know, pretty okay, but I don't have any interest in collecting the manga, so I didn't pick those up, but I figured I'd let you guys know if you're interested in... in purchasing Attack on Titan Volumes 1 and 2 for cheap, and uh, you don't mind a little bit of, like, corner and edge wear, um, and the volumes actually were in pretty, were, were in pretty decent condition, so, um, for five bucks, but for an insanely popular manga, I'd say go for it if you're interested in it, um, but again, I didn't want it to be a complete wash, so I went to my local anime store, which is just down the road from that second five below, and um, I picked up three volumes of manga that turned this whole day around, uh, for sure. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll get to that real quick right now. Um, so the first one 
is I Think Our Son is Gay, Volume 2. Um, this is a very cute story. I picked up the first one kind of on a whim. I thought, okay, the title is really funny. The concept is kind of cute. And I immediately fell in love with this. This is one of the funnier manga I've read in a while. And it's also just very cute, very charming. Um, the mother is such a sweetheart. And um, again, it's very cute. Um, okay, but now we get into the big one. All right. As Sid from Toy Story would put it, it came the big one. And that's Mashal. Uh, I have been trying, I shit you not, I have been trying to read Mashal for months. Um, I ordered it three times on Amazon. Three times. And all three times, it either just didn't come, or I got some automated Amazon response that's like, Oh, I'm sorry, we can't deliver your package. Blah, 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 blah. We are stupid and can't find your house, even though the apartment complex I live in is like five years old so like I understand when I first moved in it's like hey we can't find it Google Maps doesn't show up because it's brand new but like I've been living here for like okay maybe not five years but I've been living here for like a good three years and I still get like oh we couldn't find it it's like mm, you should you should be able to but anyway Amazon rant aside I was looking in my local anime store for months as well. Couldn't find it. They finally had it, and I am so excited. I I don't think I can express the massive amounts of joy I have from holding Mashal in my hand right now. Um, it's basically like a Harry Potter parody. Um, it, it kind of in this, at least from what I can tell from the synopsis I've heard of it, um, it's like Black Clover mixed with Harry Potter. Because, like, you know, in Black Clover, Asta... You know, li you know, there's a world full of wizards and everything, and Asta doesn't have any magic. His his powers that he's just ripped. And uh, Mash, I, I think, yeah, Mash, uh, that's the same thing. Um, the the twist is, at least from what I can infer, is that everyone still thinks it's magic. Like everyone knows, okay, Ma um, Asta doesn't have magic, but in this story. Um, I could be wrong, but from what I've heard in this story, everyone's like, oh, dude, that guy's still got magic. He's like mad. He's just good. He's just super good at magic. Um, when in reality, he's just mad strong. And it's like, oh, no, that's just like strength magic. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how accurate that is. But um, the few synopsis I've heard, that's kind of what I've inferred about the story. And I'm so excited. I, I, I picked up volume two as well. They had all the way to volume five, and I was so tempted. I was so tempted, but I didn't want to spend a dick load of money today. And I know me, and I'm a very slow reader. So I would have wound up spending like fucking $50 um, just to have, you know, them sit there for like eight months or uh, eh, probably not that long. And, and with how excited I am to read this, I feel like there comes a manga every once in a while. Um, like I, I like for me, I shield 21 where I just blast through it. Um, so I may not read this one that slowly, uh, <laughs> because I'm so excited to read it and I really hope it lives up um, to the massive amounts of hype I build up in my, I've built up in my brain. I'm sure it will. It looks really funny. Um, so yeah, so hopefully this video was salvageable. I know it was kind of all over the place, but that was my five below slash just regular ass manga haul, um, slash hunting experience. There's my mom. There is laser tag right over here, which like I really want to do. So I might, I, no, should, should I? No, I'm not gonna, I will. I'm, mm. I'm by myself, and it's like, you know, 10.30 on a Saturday, so there's probably just going to be a bunch of, like, little kids there, but, like, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> I'm, like, on a 20-game win streak right now. I'm not letting some kids stop me, all right? Melee to reserve, to you know, melee to save ammo, that whole thing. This is so stupid. I don't know what I'm doing.